everyone, it's Maria here from Pebbly Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you all so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be featuring a freebie item again <laughs> with our celebration. Celebration is going up until the 31st of March, so you can have the opportunity to earn this gorgeous bundle with every $180 purchase. So you cannot get them separately, they come as a bundle, so you get this gorgeous um, stamp set called Power of Hope and the lovely stone embossing folder, 3D embossing folder. This is just gorgeous. I love it. Um, so I'll we'll be featuring uh, these two items today. In actual fact, I haven't even stuck the stickers on, so it's still brand new. Um, so what I will do off camera is I'm going to put all the stickers on here because I like to have the stickers on and see where I'm stamping. And then I'll come back and then we'll start this gorgeous project. All right, I'll see you very soon. So I've just put all of my stickers on my stamps. I can't believe I forgot to do that before. <laughs> but it is the first time I'm using the stamp set, but not the first time I'm using the 3D stone embossing folder. So... Uh, we'll get started on the project and I'll show you everything else as we go along. So I'm using um, a card base of Thick Whisper White, which is half an A4, and then I scored it in half again, and that gives you an A6 card base. So I'm just going to do that, and I'm going to burnish the score line. Then I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, which is a panel that I cut that's a little bit shorter, uh, smaller than the actual card base, and that gives like a quarter of an inch um, uh, like border around that. And then I've got a scrap piece of Whisper White. So with this uh, uh, piece here, we're going to just emboss it with the 3D stone embossing folder. I love the effects of this folder. So I'm just going to pop that in here and I'm going to run that through my big shot so I'll just get my platform there. I'll just grab the, I forgot to get the 3D embossing folder plate which is the blue one at Stampin' Up! sells. This just makes it easier when you put this through the big shot. Sorry, I had just to, to get up and um, get that because I forgot to bring it over. And I'll just pop it through. I'll put that away for now. We will be bringing this back. Okay, so now we have an embossed stone piece. Oh, don't you just love that? To show that to you in case you haven't seen it before and that's the underside I haven't decided which side I'm going to use so we'll, we'll go with the flow and I'll see how that goes now um, I'm going to do some ink blending so I'm just going to bring out my scrap piece of cardstock there I'm going to be using uh, this stamp over here with the Japanese lady and her umbrella and I'm going to use the sentiment here today is a day for new beginnings so I'm just going to lay them out here just to get a rough idea um, of what size uh, framelit I'm going to use so I'm going to use the rectangle stitch dice and I just want to see how big um, the I'm just looking here the third one down by the looks of it today is yeah I think that's the perfect size so I'll keep that in mind and what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to do some ink blending um, I just love the effect of ink blending and it just gives um, I don't know you, you have flexibility when you do your own backgrounds I, I quite enjoy doing my own backgrounds I don't mind DSP I don't use it very often I just like to make my own backgrounds because I just like the process it's so much fun all right so I'm going to grab my lovely makeup brushes I just love using them um, I'll use my more dirty one all right and I've got my microfiber cloth here I don't have any solution on it it's just um, plain dry and I use that to wipe so the colours I'm using to ink blend today are Petal Pink, Flirty Flamingo and Balmy Blue. So I'm going to start with my lightest colour first, which is the Petal Pink. 
and I'll just make sure I don't have any colour, no, on the bottom there. So I'll ink her up and I'm just going to ink very lightly. Don't want it to be overly strong. I like to ink blend before I cut. Um, yeah, I just think it uh, just looks nicer without having... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze again. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm a double sneezer. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love the way that came up in opportune time. Anywho, anyway, as I was saying, um, because, I don't know, you get that darker um, part there. I don't want to have that with the edges of my die cut when I cut it out. So I'm just going to now just wipe this. And I'm going to bring now my Fletty Flamingo. And just blend that in. Just love the subtleness of this. Just love, 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 love. All right, so I'm done with that. Give that a wipe. And then I'll give this a wipe. It's really easy. Okay, that's clean. And so now I'm going to bring my balmy blue. And I'll just go over the top of that. Very subtle. Just something a little bit different and beautiful. Build up the blue a little bit more. And I think that looks really pretty. I love that subtle look. So I'm just going to clean this up. Okay, so we're all done now with the ink blending. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my Stamparatus and I'm going to stamp the image. So I take this away. I'll grab the lady. And the sentiment. Okay. Just um, I'm lining that up to make sure that the um, sentiment is pretty straight and I think that's pretty straight yeah all right so I'm going to grab now my memento ink and I'm just going to ink it up in memento Step it on. That looks great. I think that looks really lovely, really pretty. And I'm going to just now um, wipe, wipe that up and I'll just leave it to dry on top of the um, stamp case and I'll put my Stamparatus away. Doesn't that look pretty? Really pretty. Okay, what I also want to do is I want to colour in the lady and I'm going to be using my watercolour pencils. So I'm going to start off, and this is a reason why I also like using watercolour pencils, is because you can colour over the top. So you can layer watercolour pencil images over the top so it looks nice. So the colour I'm going to use right now is um, black 
and I'm just going to lower you down so you can have a look and see how I color all right so I'm just going to color with the black over the top I'm not going to press overly hard and I'm going to grab my blender pen these come in a pack of three if you've ever wanted to know what they are and it has like a clear blending solution in them and you can use your pet you can use watercolor pencils or you can also use um, your ink pads too if you wish so just put a little bit more black just layer on top just go over really pretty and then I'm going to um, do various colors on here so I'm going to be using let's say for example let's use balmy blue or similar I'm trying to match up All right, I'll just use this I'm just going to do it in it like a pattern like that and then I'm going to blend that out okay then I'm going to use something a color that looks similar to flirty flamingo um, just use like a light pink yeah I'll blend that out That could be like Rococo Rose. Um, I don't even have that colour, but I'd say it's very similar. And then I'm going to use a petal pink colour. Um, yeah, use that. blend that out okay now for the umbrella I'm going to use hmm, that blue Colour that in. Okay, so that is now my finished image. So I'm just going to bring you up, and that's all of my colouring done. 
I'm now going to bring in my third largest framelit and I'm going to cut there Okay, and I'll put that through the big shot. So now I'll finish cutting that and let's see how that looks once it's all cut out. See, it looks a lot more together. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. I love the simplicity of it. And I'll leave this as a scrap, put this away. So that was the third largest. So it's one, two, three, third largest. Let me put this away. And then I'm going to bring back, bring all of my little bits and pieces. And I'll just really burnish that score line. All right, so I've got the stone um, embossed piece of cardstock. And I'll just have a quick look and see. Oh, that is so pretty and soft. Or we can do it this way. And let's see how that looks. I think I'm going to do it this way with the... Um, debossed side I think that looks really pretty so I'm going to um, put some glue on this side really simple card today doesn't have to be overly fancy all the time just pop that in the middle I just love subtle cards they're just there's something peaceful about them and yeah, they're just nice. I'm going to be sending this off to a friend of mine. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals on that. Up the top. And like that. Now the reason why I put so many is that I, when I send this through the post I want it to be able to go through without it falling flat and being squashed. Sorry about the noise. We've got construction going on across the road so if you do hear loud noises that's where it's coming from. And I don't know when this is going to happen, it just happens. So my apologies if it annoys you. So I'm just going to take off the backings. Yeah, that was a bit difficult to get off. Come on, off. Okay, so I've got all of the backings off. And I'm going to put this piece over here. And I'll just angle it like that. Just pretty, subtle and... Um, very calm. Um, I could stamp also the lady on the inside and why not? Let's do that. And I will stamp her. Put this down the bottom. Sorry about the noise guys. Really, really sorry. Just get a um, magnet. Oops, I use this one here. Right, just grab that lady image and I'll just do this down here. And I'm going to stamp her in balmy blue. Love the timing of this, I am so sorry. Anyway. Isn't that gorgeous? How beautiful is that? 
All right, so we are done now. Pop this away. Go away, noisy people. Go away. <laughs> oh, geez, that's shocking. Anyway, that's my finished card for today. I hope you like it. These are items that you can get for free at the moment. This comes as a bundle with every $180 purchase. This is a beautiful stamp set um, and it makes a lovely card. And these are free items. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I'm very sorry about the noise at the moment. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below the video. Also, you can um, message me through my online store at Peppley Rose papercrafting.stampinup.net so thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again next time bye for now